The Euclidean P Center Problem. Group 13. String cheese. Suppose we are given a set of demand points in a plane. Each is labeled X, I, Y, I. We are also given a number P. We wish to find P points called centers so that the worst distance from a demand point to its closest center is minimized. These center points can be part of the original demand point set or be entirely new coordinates, as seen here in this example. Each center is denoted by PIQI on the plane. For each point XY, let DI be the distance from the point to the nearest center. Define that the variable W equals the maximum of all the distances from a point to its nearest center. In this example, W is equal to distance 1. This, the problem seeks to minimize W by repositioning the center locations until the minimization is achieved. This solution is achieved by distributing the centers to be spread out among all the points. Now, a technical explanation. Right. So now we'll be giving a technical explanation of our problem. To start with, we'll start with our set D. This set is going to contain all of our demand points. In this case, the given number N. Our next set will be the set C, and this will contain all of our center points. In this case, there will only be three points. Our set number P, one, two, three. The size of our centers, our center set is going to be the given number P, and then our next set will be the little, our set little d. Little d is going to contain the distances from each point to its closest center, and then from that we're going to make set W. Set W is going to contain the max distance for each of the center points. Our goal in this problem is to minimize our set W. And just to point out, our center points do not have to be on empty points. They can also be on the already placed demand points. So instead of putting a center here, I could put one right there. The extension of our problem is also known as the facility location problem, location analysis, or case center problem. The facility location problem imitates the placing of a facility or facilities, the centers, within its clients, the demand points. The facility location problem also considers other factors, such as cost of building. Take this plane and its set of demand points for an example. Now pretend each of the points is a building and that, that there are two plumbers moving into town looking to open a new business or facility. Which of these buildings would they pick to place their offices so that the travel time to its surrounding houses, the clients, is minimized? Revert each building back to, to the points on a plane. By drawing distance lines, it is easy to see where the two plumbers should purchase their new office space. Congratulations, the, pl the plumbers now have purchased optimal office space in the town. The version we are describing, with multiple centers among demand points in the plane, is called a minimax facility location. Minimax stands for minimization of the maximum. This is an example of an Euclidean P-Center three-center problem solution. The centers, or stars, are positioned so that the distances to all the demand points are minimal. The Euclidean P-Center problem is a combinatorial optimization problem. Condition 1. We are looking for P number of centers, which are points with integer coordinates. We are limited to the section of the plane bounded within the demand points. The coordinates of the centers are integers, so any star or demand point on this graph is a candidate solution for a center. We can see that our set of possible solutions, of possible solutions is finite. This fulfills condition one. Condition two. 
The cost function C is defined on the state S as the maximum distance from a demand point to a center. This fulfills condition two. Condition three. Our goal is to find the state with the least cost, or in other words, with the minimum distance from the demand points to the centers. Therefore, the p-center problem is a combinatorial optimization problem. The decision version of this problem is the following. Given a set of demand points, P centers, and a distance capital D, is there a placement of P centers such that the maximum distance from any demand point to its closest center is at most D? In our earlier introduced example, if we were given D equals two inches, and we determine that the maximum distance to the closest center is approximately 2.5 inches, the answer is no. It is not possible to find a placement of centers with the distance to the furthest point is at most 2 inches. Kareev and Hakimi proved in 1979 that the p-center problem is NP-hard. This means there is no efficient algorithm that always returns the right answer. There exist algorithms pr to produce exact solutions to this problem. One exact solver runs in time O of n to the square root of p. This is a sub-exponential running time. We will introduce an approximation of the solution to the p-center problem. The approximation is referred to as the farthest point clustering FPC algorithm or the farthest first traversal due to Gonzalez in 1985. The algorithm is quite simple. Pick any point from the set as one center, search for the farthest point from the remaining set as another center, and repeat the process until P centers are found. Each successive point is chosen as far as possible from all previously chosen centers. Now, a worked out example. I'll explain to you the farthest first traversal algorithm. This is an approximation to the P center problem, and its approximation factor is two. The algorithm begins by first selecting a random point, which will serve as your first center in the solution. In our case, we were given the value P equals 3, so we're solving for three centers. The first, choice, the first point that we will choose is this one right here. I'll circle it so that you can remember. The next step in this algorithm is to traverse the remaining n minus 1 points and figure out which point is the furthest from our first selected center. In this case, you have two contenders, this point right here and this point right here. If we were to measure the exact distance between the two points, you would see that this point is the furthest. Therefore, that point is our second center. All in all, this step took n minus 1. The next step is to, is to traverse the remaining n minus 2 points and find, its, find the distance from the two centers you've already selected. You would go from this point to all the remaining points, get, its, get the distance from the center to the points, and do the same for this center right here. After that, you would run through and find out which point had the maximum combined distance from the two centers. In our case, it would be this point right here. Performing these steps completes the algorithm in approximately linear time, as all of the traversals of the elements are not nested. The end. Thanks for watching.